Hey Harbor Kids, I'm glad you joined us today. You guys gotta check this place out. It's so much to do. And Sammy and Rachel are here somewhere. I gotta catch up with them. But hey, we're gonna have fun today. Why don't you guys sing with us? Let's go! Hey kids, it's time for our weekly Bible memory verse. This week's Bible memory verse is Mark 
chapter 12, verse 30, where the Bible says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Let's say this verse together, shall we? Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. We should love God with all our heart. Your heart is the control center of your entire being, where you make all your decisions. Your soul is literally the breath of life that we have, which means we should love God with our life while we are living. Your mind is the place where you do your deepest thinking, your imagination. Imagine using your imagination and creativity to love God. And your strength means to love God with all your might to try your best to love God, just like you would try your best to do anything. Let's say that verse together again. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. You guys are doing great. Now, last time by yourself. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. God's great earth. I love to study God's creation. Travel with me to the faraway land of Australia. Now listen carefully. What's that sound? It's not a tiger. It's not a rhinoceros. It's not even a crocodile. It's the wild sound of the small animal, the koala. Did you know that koala bears are not really bears? And as cute as they look, they're not really that friendly. Koalas are marsupials. Marsupials are a group of mammals that carry their young in a pouch, like kangaroos. When they're born, they're about the size of a jelly bean, but they soon nestle into their mama's pouch where they grow for six months. If you are looking to spot a koala, you'll find them climbing in the Australian forest. Koalas weigh about 20 pounds and live around 20 years. They need lots of sleep and are very choosy eaters. Koalas love to climb eucalyptus trees and mostly fill their diet with eucalyptus leaves for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Instead of water, they even prefer to quench their thirst by drinking the liquid from the leaves. This is probably where the koala gets its name. Koala means no water. Of all the plants and fruit trees that grow in Australia, the koala prefers to choose only one. This fact about the koala reminds me of a Bible verse in Joshua 24, 15 that says, Choose you this day whom you will serve. It goes on to say, But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. There are so many things to choose in life. Friends, music, clothes, food. The choices that we make are very important. This verse reminds us that the most important thing in life that we could ever choose is to choose the Lord. Hey kids, today I want to tell you about the best thing you will ever do in your entire life. It is the most important thing that you will ever think about doing. And it's the thing that will fulfill your whole purpose for being alive. And that thing 
is to love the Lord with all of your heart. I want you to ask yourself this question. Do I love God? Today, there is a very big shortage of people who truly love God and a shortage of teenagers who love God. And yes, even a shortage of kids who love God. But let's hear from some kids who do love God and find out why. What I love most about God is that he's gracious and that even if you do something wrong, he's always there for you. The thing I love most about God is that he's always faithful and I can always talk to him if I have any problems. What I love most about God is that no matter how far away we go from him, he's always there for us. What I love most about God is that he's almighty. What I love most about God is that he loves us even when we make mistakes. What I love the most about God is that he's a helper in time of trouble. You may be saying to yourself, I really want to love God, but how do I love God? What does it mean to love God? For that, we may need to do a vocabulary word. Sometimes it's hard for some people to describe what they mean by love. Love is a verb, which means it is an action word. Love is not a feeling. Love is a choice. You love something or someone by choosing them. If you ask some kids what their idea of a perfect day would be, many of them would say, I want to go to an amusement park like Disneyland or Six Flags. There are so many fun things to do, from riding the roller coasters to the other rides, to the shows and the cotton candy and the stuffed animals and the fudge. I almost wish we could go there right now. The point is that if you ask most kids, they would choose this over almost everything else because they love amusement parks. There are a lot of toys that kids play with. Some toys are simpler and more old fashioned and some toys are newer and more elaborate. If I were to ask you, what is your favorite toy? You might think back to that time when you first went to the toy store and you saw that special toy and you picked that toy over all the other toys because you loved it. When we play sports and games, we often pick teams and everybody wants to be picked to be on the team because it just feels like love when someone picks you. God picked us and chose to love us when we were totally unlovable in our sin. Now think about this. Can you imagine what it must feel like to God when we pick him over other things? You know, God has feelings and emotions like we do. It brings God great joy when we choose him and love him. And now, can you imagine how it must feel to God when we pick other things and other people over him? It must make him very sad. God wants us to pick him. He wants us to choose him. He wants us to love him. When you love God, you are telling him that he is more important than anything else. Secondly, to love God means to obey God. God wants us to obey him. That means that we should do what he tells us to do in the Bible. And this is one way to prove how much we love God. Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 14, verse 15, if ye love me, keep my commandments. If you wanna know if you actually love God, ask yourself this, do I do the things he tells me to do in the Bible? God actually deserves our love and our obedience. He deserves it just for being God all by himself. 
God created this whole universe so he could show how loving and powerful he is. He created us. And when man sinned and disobeyed God, he sent his son, Jesus, to the earth to live a perfect life and die on the cross for our sins so we could be saved and become part of God's family. In fact, 1 John chapter 4, verse 19 says, we love him because he first loved us. God made the first move. He loved us first. And because of all that God has done to prove his love to us, the greatest thing that we can do is to take our life and our strength and our mind and choose to love God with all of our heart. If you would like to know for sure how to have your sins forgiven and go to heaven and be a part of God's family for all of eternity, click the link in the description below. Thanks for joining us this week, kids. We hope you join us next week as we sing more of God's praises, study His awesome creation, and learn more amazing things from God's Word. So remember this week, love God with all your heart. Wait, I changed my mind. What is this thing even called? It's okay, Sammy. It's called the slingshot. It's fine. What? I don't want to die. Get me off of this. Help somebody. You're not going to die. It's just going to take us very gently up into the air and bring us right back down. It's going to be fine. Just close your eyes. It's just going to be very smooth. Oh, okay.